it. The fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. He finds the fun guy. We find out why he's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. To find out about fun guy, then you could do worse than give this guy a try. Oh, there's a great so Hello, people. Uh, there's a great sense of urgency here. Uh, my son, my eight-year-old son, has just shouted he's found something brilliant. And he, he can spot him. It's brilliant. He's playing in a stream with my other son. Uh, and he's just said, Dad, I found cordyceps. I found that caterpillar one. And he's right. Well, I hope he's right. I'm going to go and have a look now. If he's right, that's exciting. Um, the, ca the, the Scarlet Caterpillar Club is an amazing thing. Are you there, Dick? Let's have a look. I'll just flip it around. Let's see. Let's have a look, Mum. Where is it? <laughs> you're right, you're right. How does it feel about this find? Ooh, car is up there. I bet it's really excited. Oh, let's check it out of the diameter. <laughs> okay. Very excited here now, thank you, because this fungus is really special, it's unique um, because it's a parasite, but this particular one uh, parasites insects. So what we're looking for here, what we saw that little flash of there, and uh, just a little, little uh, teaser I gave you there, you waited to see it properly now and not look at my face, well I'm gone. Well I tell you, the underground um, will be the pupa is looking, is there someone behind me? No. Oh god, you look nervous like there's someone behind, stood behind me wondering what I'm on about. Um, is the pupa of a moth. Uh, the Scarlet Caterpillar Club, Cordyceps militaris. And so what all that comes out is we see is the little fungus above ground, the orange stem. And underground will be, hopefully, the remains of that body. Okay, so we're going to go in dig, but try your best to watch me dig this out. I've got to dig it out with great care. There we are. You can see actually, oh there might be. It's an important shot, let's get ready to zoom. We need a good zoom. Get ready to zoom. Is there another one starting here? Three different fruit bodies there. Can you see them, Dig? Zoom. Zoom. Don't zoom for me, mate. It's rubbish zoom. I'm not zooming. All right. Bother zoom. No zoom. All right, I'm going to... You can see here. How close can we get? Let's keep it in. You should have zoomed in for this bit. Okay, so we're quite fortunate here. It's in a lot of loose soil. So hopefully, yeah, you can see how much there's a wobble on here. I can hopefully uh, dig this out with ease. Look how loose this soil is. Because you want to try and keep it all intact. <laughs> all right, stand back a little bit, dig me, stand back. There we go, can we see? All right, stop wobbling it when you're pressing that thing. Oh man, look at that. This shows it so beautifully well. Um, just against my fingers so we can see the sky, size and scale. So it's got like this, um, uh, speckled uh, bitty head to it, this slight club top and uh, top end of it there. Granular. It's really granular, so it's got this speckled top into it. It's a bright orange here and a slightly paler stem, but it's what's beneath the earth. <laughs> what lies beneath? Um, so this is the Harrison Ford moment. Is that a film? I'm sure it is. I'd be quite pleased with myself if I managed to reference that. Uh, whether this here, we can see we've got two two fruit bodies. Whether these are all coming out of the same um, pupa, moth pupa, I don't know. Oh, I think I can see. Oh, no, it's a stone. Got excited about a stone there. Thought that was going to be the the, uh, the moth head. It is not, it is a stone. Uh, but let's have a look. Let's, so gently, right, so make sure we get this. I'm going to gently start. Is it all in focus, dude? I'm going to gently start to just peel away the bits we don't need. And what's happening here, you can see the mycelium. All this little white fluffy network is the mycelium, which is the fungus itself. And what it does is it completely colonises the uh, the pupa, takes over it and keeps it alive long enough. It like mummifies it, keeps it alive long enough to then be able to um, get a proper hold and then burst out and actually fruit into this fruit body. And these will get carried away. The spores will get carried away in the wind. I'm getting carried away here. Come on, let's get to the... Oh, there'll be purists out there going, oh, you're ruining it, you know, no, you're doing it properly. I wonder if two fruit bodies have come out the same one. It's burst out its body like that scene in Alien with John Hurt at the table. This is the caterpillar under here. Uh, my son's just arrived. Uh, Rufus, is that your welly squelch looking here? Are they absolutely full of water? When we will finish the film, 
with a welly emptying oh, ceremony. This here, hard for you to see, but this is a firm body. This is the cordyceps uh, body here uh, with the amazing um, fungus fruit body poking out the top. So this is the moth larvae, the moth pupa, uh, sorry, here. The body itself, and it's quite firm. Woo! One of the coolest fungi ever. He ain't wrong about that. This cool cat is Cordyceps Militaris. Now cord, that means club, and seps, well that means head. So we got Cordyceps, club head. So we got ourselves a club head shaped fungus. Yes we do. Now, Militaris, now ain't so straightforward. I am presuming that the Militaris is meaning military, which I am presuming is referring to the way this parasite invades its host. The way an army might invade some place or other. Are you having that? You better take it, because it's all I got. Um, so amazing. One of the one of the most uh, fascinating fungi ever in the world. Um, it's amazing. Uh, so a couple of little facts. What can I tell you about it? There are several hundred types of species of this. Highly revered, highly thought of and prized in China. Um, specific species that is uh, edibility and medicinally I think there's even some question around that our, our version here in England of which we have many um, but I don't know enough I've not got that knowledge in the bank I'm afraid it's not much in the bank full stop metaphorically and physically morally bankrupt yeah just skint uh, and a fascinating one that you may have seen David Attenborough do he got to me got to it before I did he beat me to it. Uh, colonises ants. It, it parasites the ant, which forces the ant. It like takes over its brain and makes it climb up to the highest point of the trees in the Amazon. And then it kind of seals itself to a leaf, takes over, colonises it. The <laughs> fruit body comes out of its head and all the little spores can dance off in the wind. Does he know what he's going on about? I don't think so. Cordyceps militaris, the Scarlet Caterpillar Club. Oh, cheers! He's not mentioned habitat. True, but that's probably because it's actually really varied. I do have some other footage of him finding some cordyceps, but it's rubbish. Should we just stick it in anyway? Why? Because the episode needs padding out. Because it's weak and lacking breadth and depth and experience and knowledge. Yeah, yeah. stick, stick it, it in. in. I'm up on some beautiful unimproved grassland and uh, we've come across some, this is the third set now, out in the grass. I thought, well look, just show evidence that they do grow in other places also. There they are. The Caterpillar Club. Beautiful. This is the fifth one I've found. So I think now we've started a mission now because uh, I've just stopped, stooped, to look at this little uh, yellow wax cap which is gorgeous and right behind it Guess what? More cordyceps, look. Beautiful yellow wax cap. Tap on screen. Beautiful. Can watch pe Hello, who's photo bombing? More cordyceps. And we're just looking for if we can catch that granular surface. From the Caterpillar Club to Squelchy Wellies. Okay, give us a squelch. Right, okay, stop there. Hold on to him, Digby, for balance and let him pour one out, pour one out, Rue. Have we got much in there? Oh, it's a wet one, isn't it? Wet well is. Oh, you know, he does seem like a good dad. Taking his kids out, letting them play in the river. Teaching them all about fungi. For once, I'm going to have to agree with you. <laughs> he does seem like a good dad. I can hear it swishing about. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh yeah, he comes across as a good dad, but he's really irritable with them. Dead snappy. Really? Oh yeah. He once snapped at a runner on a shoot about giant puffballs. Instead of mixed salad leaves on his sandwich, she got him one that was just rocky. He flipped. What? Sounds a bit much, that. A bit much? He took a run up and booted the giant puffball. <laughs> The funny thing was, it went right between two fence posts like a rugby conversion. <laughs> Everybody 
cheered and he stormed off to the caravan. <laughs> the body fruit's out. Absolute. Can you see him, Dig? Don't zoom for me, mate. It's rubbish zoom. I'm not zooming. All right. All right, stop wobbling it when you're pressing that thing. Unless these are both fruits out the same one. Is he spoiling my film? Stop stop tapping it loads of times. We just hit it once for me, please, mate. Does it it's too close. Me? Sorry, mate, I'm losing my temper. It's not fair of me. Go. Ready to zoom. Ready to zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I do have some footage of him finding cordyceps in a different place. <laughs> I thought I was really irritable with him. Dead snappy. Really? Yeah. Snappier than a crocodile playing snap and snappy snaps. <laughs> really? Yeah. Snappier than a crocodile playing snap and snappy snaps. <laughs> oh, no, no.